Hi all, welcome to the channel, welcome to my world, this is The World of Wayne. Today, I'm going to show you three more figurines for the fan home release of the Marvel Movie Collection. Now there's always been a thing about me collecting things as you can just see around me here. Uh, as you know I have been collecting the Star Wars encyclopedias and you haven't seen an update for that for a while. I am going to be doing an update of that. This is from Fan Home as well when I've got the full set. I think I've got six more deliveries to go but I wanted you to see what they're looking like at the shelf at the moment. Obviously my OCD is in there to make sure they're all in order so we get that nice side spine looking really good. Uh, I'm also collecting the Star Wars Starships and Vehicles collection and you can see that on my live stream so when that comes I show them off on my live stream. But today, as you see, I've got the magazines for the three figures that we've got this time. If you don't follow my social media, I had three figures last time as well, which I displayed on the social media. But for your viewing pleasure, I'm going to show you what three they were here. Three figures you get this time starts with figurine number six which is Black Widow and it comes with a magazine let me show you the magazine looks like this and all about Black Widow in here as you can see brilliant photographs in this uh, so the magazines in themselves are a collection just want you to uh, have a quick look through that there you go uh, and this figure is actually from Captain America uh, the Winter Soldier and that's what the back looks like. Uh, these do come in their own boxes. So the boxes look like this. We do have a certificate of authenticity. And as you can see, Captain America, the Winter Soldier there. With a unique number on there. And then the figurine comes well packaged in a plastic case like this. So let's get this one out. And I'll show you what this looks like. And I have already uh, put this on my little slow moving turnstile. All these figures actually. So you can see what this looks like. But this... Is the Black Widow figure and it looks pretty cool. have a glass cabinet that I keep these in to stop any dust getting on them uh, because they do tend to attract the dust but uh, they are pretty cool figurines but for now I am going to keep it protected in this plastic box here. The second figurine that I've been sent this month as you can see is Black Panther and this is the uh, magazine for Black Panther again. Again brilliant artwork. I don't know if they provide binders for these magazines. But uh, if you are collecting them, it's a great thing. This one's actually from uh, Captain America Civil War. So once again, I've got the certificate of authenticity here. And the figure, once again, is in this plastic box. And it looks just like that. And once again, I have shown this on my slow moving turnstile. So you can see exactly how that looks. That means the last figure that we're going to be looking at today is Doctor Strange. Again, this is the magazine. You have to let me know what you thought of Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness. I thought Doctor Strange was an excellent film. I think Multiverse of Madness is a bit of a letdown personally. But uh, there you go. That's the magazine. And again, this comes in its own box. And this is great that you've got the uh, magical 
uh, what are these circles? If I called them spheres then, <laughs> looking like that. And there you go, and I have got these on my turnstiles as well. I do like the painting on some of these figures. I do keep these protected because these figures are easy to break, especially when you've got things like Doctor Strange there holding those discs in his hands. Those discs can be fragile, and that's why I do keep them in a glass cabinet. Now, all of these are in my old man cave, and I do have them on display in the Star Wars Starships collection. I am in the process, though, of moving that whole room around because some of the 1-8 models I've got in there, I'm just taking over the room. It's also the place that Mrs. Welder Wayne does all her sewing. So as you can imagine, it does need some sort of rework. There's only limited room in the house. That's why I'm limiting myself just to free collections. Uh, but if you like what you see, you do want to get these for yourself. I have put a link to the Fan Home website down the bottom there. You can get these all the way from figurine one, which was Iron Man. But uh, I did share, say I'd share these insights when I get these figures. I will put these figures on social media as well. If you're not following my social media, I have put a link to all of my things in the link tree down the bottom there. And you can actually follow me and you can see these as and when they arrive. But I really hope you liked that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.